Hey guys, what's up, it's Thrill again, and today I want to show you a neat little script that you can use to train your Rumbus jumps with the help from a bot. This script will allow you to control the bot's actions without having to enter commands into the console manually every time and is really easy to use. This script is great when you have trouble with a specific Rumbus jump or when you just came up with a possible jump that you quickly want to try out. This script is obviously only using console commands, but just to clarify things and avoid that one question that always makes me want to cut my own arm off, no, you cannot get backband for using console commands that are included in the game itself. To install the script, you want to drag and drop it into your CSGO config folder, which is located under Steam, Steam Apps, Common, Counter-Strike Global Offensive, CSGO, CFG. I will provide a download link for the bot runboot script in the description of this video. All you have to do is copy and paste that file into the named folder. After that, you simply hop into an offline game with bots like that, open your console and type exec runboost to load up the script. The script will then load up all the necessary settings that you need for this and restart the round. Now let's have a look at the controls for the script. The keys that you want to be using are the six keys that you can find above the arrow keys on your keyboard. Let's first have a look at the page up and page down key. The page up key is used to spawn a bot on the terrorist side and the page down key to spawn a bot on the counter terrorist side. In my case, I'm on the terrorist side right now, that's why I want to press the page up key to spawn a bot in my team. Now that you have your bot in your team, you can go to the place where you want to do the run boost. Once you are there, you can press the insert key on your keyboard to place the bot in front of you. You can place him anywhere you want really, just make sure you look a bit up when pressing the key to avoid him getting stuck in the floor. Then you want to make the bot crouch, so you can jump on top of his head. To do that, press the home key to toggle the crouch animation of your bot. Once you're on top of his head, simply press the home key again to make him stand up as soon as you jump. Now there's only one thing left to do. The bot has to mimic your movement so the two of you can actually run boost together. To toggle the bot mimic function, you want to press the end key on your keyboard. Once you've done that, you are ready to run boost any way you want. If you are for some reason not happy with your current bot and you want to exchange him, you can kick the current bot by pressing the delete key on your keyboard to get rid of him so you can start all over again with a fresh bot. <laughs> Poor Paul. But anyway, I also wanted to mention that I added some of the most important features of the script to the mouse buttons. In case you have a mouse like me, I'm playing with a Logitech G400S. I do not get sponsored by Logitech, that is simply the mouse that I'm using. And this one has two additional buttons on the side right here. Um, the one in front right here is mouse 4 and the one at the back is mouse 5. And you can also press in the mouse wheel and that will be mouse 3. And I added those to the bindings in my script as well. So I want to show you how I'm using this um, script whenever I'm training my run boost. This right here is bot Brandon. And when I go right here and I press the mouse 5 button, the one at the back right here, this will be the bot place command in my script. So I can simply run around here and just press this one button on the mouse and I can place bot Brandon wherever I want. Then also if I want him to crouch, I can press in the mouse wheel, as I said, this is mouse 3. I used that to um, toggle the bot crouch function, so whenever I press in my mouse wheel, the bot will crouch for me, which is pretty cool, I do not have to get over to my keyboard and do that on there. So you can jump on him, press the mouse wheel in again, jump up and he will be standing. Then last but not least, some of you may already know what I'm talking about, we also have that last key, so this one up uh, at the back right here is to place the bot and this one up front, the mouse 4 button, is to toggle the bot mimic function. Once you press that, the bot will do whatever you do. Um, once you shoot, he will shoot, once you run it straight forward, he will do the same and that's what we can use to yeah, do this run boost with the bot. Really easy and simple to use, I just wanted to show that um, if you have a mouse like me with a bunch of additional buttons at the side, you can really use this um, script really comfortably from your mouse, you do not have to go over to your keyboard and press all those buttons. Really easy to use, all you have to do is press those three keys on your mouse. So I think that's it for this tutorial, that's also something that I just wanted to show you in the end. If you want to know more about the run boost, I also made a run boost tutorial and I also have a bunch of really cool run boosts that you can train with the spots. You will find both of these videos at the end card of this video. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you guys in my next one. You're in the box,